wanted to talk about scalping using market cipher and um scalping is basically using um lower time frames to make your trading decisions so it's like trading is all about um let's say buying and selling but um at what time should i buy and at what time should i sell um mostly um time more or less like gives you um the overall direction of an asset and as time grows time is a very essential <coughs> ingredient in trading it's, it's not it's not an analysis to you but it's just one part of trading that you cannot do without it so and one thing about um, market cipher is um market cipher b literally has os oscillators and waves and all of them move in accordance with time so if all of these waves are moving in accordance with time then on each time frame means different movements you understand so if let's say i'm on a four hour time frame <clears throat> it means my waves are moving every four hours you understand and if i'm on a three hour it moves every three hours so how do i scalp on lower time frames like um, how do i use lower time frames like um one minute time frame to scalp basically you scalp with lower time frames so what you have to realize is for every um for every given minute you do have to realize that your oscillators are moving so this is my momentum right this is my momentum it, it moves up 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 comes down again my money flow which is my liquid um, also moves 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 does i'm on a one minute time from there and it comes down moves 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 so how do i scalp in other words um if i want to enter a long i need to know what is called overbought and oversold i'm just trying to give you I wouldn't say the ultimate or the perfect long you know, or the perfect short. I'm just giving you how do you enjoy trading with market cipher, scalping with market cipher, sorry. So we have this 60 line. This is the 60 line. This is in a negative thirty. So this is going to be a negative 60 line. Which means that any time momentum crosses that line, price of an asset has reached what we call the oversold territories. This is an oversold territories. And hence, price is now gaining steam to go upwards. And anytime the same momentum wave crosses the 60 line, this is the positive territories. The 60 line means price has also peaked as overbought. Overbought means, overbought, overbought means price, let's say, of an asset is not reflecting its true value. And it's like there's so much money in it, and it's like um, there has to be correction. It has happened over and over. Bitcoin has been corrected several times. I think the eighth correction. I've seen Bitcoin move from $700 to $20,000. Then the same Bitcoin moves from $20,000 to $3,000. So if we're trading back then using market server, you realize that when we reach the $20,000, unless a higher time frame, market server will give you a, a, like a clearer indication on whether it's overbought or oversold. So if I want to long, um, if I want to long here, let me remove the drawings. Um, if I want to long, First of all, I'm using lower time frames so the, the waves are moving faster, faster. So I'll wait so let's say it crosses down here and comes down and crosses the negative 60 line. Then I will long, I'll begin my logging from here because I know there has been a correction. <coughs> Sorry, I know we, we, we've reached the over so territories and hence momentum is heading towards uptrend. So I will enjoy my long from this side up, 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 up. Then when we reach this side, I can also sell. <clears throat> I can also so stop my uh, my trade, and literally short from here. But again, I'll also long again from the side when I get here. Long, 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 long. Then probably if I want to exit, I'll exit or hold, I'll hold. Then continue to long again, again, again till we cross. The 60 line and for sure if you cross there is no way momentum is going up again we know there's going to be an there's going to be a correction so this is where our shot from the side also shot 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 comes down again comes down again tries going up again comes down comes down comes down so it also crosses this um 60 line negative 60 line meaning there's times long but again you cannot up you know sometimes you might think when you enter here it will go back 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 uh, sorry up 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 but you know you see what happened here it came here came down again came here 
and came down here and went up so if you wanted to long for a long time using lower time you could have held this waited for the correction again to come down came came down so it went up came down then went upwards 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 so there was another correction here then you would have shot from this side too so it's like scalping on market server is so easy and simple because it waves gives you real time or real insight into the direction of an asset so you can realize that when momentum was going up price was going up 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 then when momentum was falling coming down price also was falling so long short long short again long short long short using market cipher so this is just um, a basic overview of scalping using market cipher script and um there are so many things you can do with market cipher as it can also be your technical analysis too depending on how well you understand it and um so i don't want to take much of time it's just a basic overview so until then have a nice time people